Hi, I'm Kelly Main. I'm a marketing expert and staff writer here at Fit Small Business. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a website using WordPress. WordPress is the world's leading website platform and for good reason. It's incredibly versatile, it can be very affordable, and it's a good platform to grow and scale your website. These days you don't need to be a web developer to build a professional website with WordPress. Thanks to Site Builder plugins, you can even turn WordPress into a drag and drop editor. Okay, let's get started. The first step is to get web hosting. This is because unlike all in one site builders that usually include it, WordPress sites require third party hosting. Getting web hosting first also saves you time and money, as many web hosting plans include extras such as a free domain name, a free SSL certificate, and one click WordPress installation. If you're not sure what all of that meant, don't worry, I'll explain it as we go. There are tons of web hosting providers to choose from, but I'm going to use Bluehost. It's a low cost provider that includes everything a business needs for as little as $3 per month. To do that, I'm going to go to bluehost.com and choose a plan. I'm going to use the basic shared plan. After choosing your plan, you'll be prompted to set up your domain name, which will ideally be your business name. Once you've found the domain name you want to use, go ahead and continue the checkout process. After completing your purchase, click Create Account. Once you've created your account, the next step is to install WordPress. To do this, find the one-click WordPress installation tool from your user dashboard. After clicking the one-click WordPress installation button, Bluehost automatically connects your domain name to your new WordPress account. You will then be redirected to your new WordPress user dashboard. Once you've gotten web hosting and installed WordPress, the next step is to choose and install a theme. To do this, click Appearance from the left-hand menu and click Themes. Here you can browse free themes by clicking on the WordPress.org Themes button at the top. You can also upload a third-party theme by clicking the Upload Theme button at the top. I suggest you take the time to check out the themes available and find one that represents your business. When you find one you like, hover over it and click Install. Once your theme has installed, click Activate. Once you have installed your theme, the next step is to add plugins. Plugins give users a way to add additional features and tools to their site. I want to make it easy to build my site, so I'm going to use a simple drag and drop editor plugin called Elementor. Elementor does offer a free version, but I recommend investing in the pro version as it gives you a lot more features such as the ability to customize your header. Install plugins such as Elementor Pro, go to plugins and click add new. You can browse available plugins and simply click Install now and then activate. For premium plugins, you will click Upload Plugin, select the downloaded plugin file, and click Install and then activate. Now that all of your plugins have been installed, the next step is to add your business information, such as your business name and logo. To do this, go to Appearance, click Customize, and click Site Identity, and input your business name and upload your logo. Now it's time to add the pages of your website. To do that, simply go to Pages. Here you will see all of the pages that your theme came with. You can delete any of the pages that you don't want by hovering over it and selecting Trash. To add new pages, click the Add New button in the upper left, name your page, and click Publish. After you've added all the pages that you want, the next step is to build your site menu. To do this, go to Appearance and click Menus, and then select Create Menu. Once you've done that, you can drag the pages to reorder your menu. To add some pages, drag pages below the page you want it to be nested under. With your menu created, the next step is to customize your header. To do this, go to Appearance and click Theme Builder. To get started, click Add New, then select Header from the drop-down options and enter a template name, in this case, Header. Then click Create Template. 
This will open the Elementor editor. Here you can easily update elements of the header such as color, size, and layout. Click within the content block. I'm going to change the block to three columns. I will then add site navigation and site logo to the header. When finished, click Publish. After finishing your header template, repeat the same process to create your footer. Go to Templates, Add New, and select Footer from the options. Now that you've finished your footer, let's start building web pages. To do this, go to Pages. I'm going to start with my home page. First, I'll have to tell WordPress which page to use as the home page. To do that, go to Appearance, click Customize, and select Home Page Settings. Select a static page, and from the drop-down, select the page you want to use from the list, and click Publish. Once the home page opens, click the Edit with Elementor button. This will open the Elementor page builder. Here, you can easily drag and drop elements such as photos, text, and content blocks. Build out your page, and when done, click Update in the bottom left and then Exit to WordPress, where you can repeat this process across all of your pages. After building out all of your web pages, review your site to make sure it's ready to go live. In this case, I'll also have to go back to Bluehost and from the dashboard, click Launch My Site. Congratulations, you just launched your brand new small business website. If you're still not sure about using WordPress, I've created a series of videos to help you build a site with Squarespace, Weebly, Wix, and GoDaddy. Also, be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more helpful small business video content.